Les Impitoyables Whiskey Glass from Peugeot, the ruthless whiskey glass. Should you get some? Let's unbox it and check it out here on the Whiskey Whistle. What up my whiskey peeps, Mark here from Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you Les Impitoyables, the ruthless whiskey glass from Peugeot. Yes, the same maker as the car. We're gonna unbox it, this is a real unboxing. So let's get that unboxed. And then we're gonna compare something that is very nice chilled, and that is Nika from the barrel. And we'll also compare it to the standard Glen Cairn glass. All right, so let's check that out. Really excited about this. Okay, so there we go. Very nicely packaged. They come in these really cool canisters. Les Impitoyables, Savour de Whiskey. Cette dégustation. Tegustation. Tegust I can't even say that. Tegustation. Tasting set with refreshing base. And the other one, wrapped in bubble wrap. Please don't be broken. Wouldn't that be a shame? There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so we got one and we got two. Kind of a shame this is taped. Not good. I'm guessing this one was returned, was it? Not all, oh, that's just destroyed. Just destroyed. Okay, big glass. A little bit more voluminous than Glen Cairn. We'll have to give these a wash. Look at that, right? Pretty sturdy, it's not like that flimsy kind of fancy crystal you find. Pretty sturdy. It comes with a cool book. All about it. Mostly in French. Oh yeah, here we go. So it tells you how to use it. Very heavy. This is really heavy. Holy cats. So this one, I'm going to... I don't know. Like, I'm going to keep this? It's destroyed. Disappointed. Alright. So we get a couple of cool things. What do we have here? Looks like a coaster. And it might be made of leather. Mm-hmm. Oh, very nice. Yep, I think that is uh, pleather. Perfect, a perfect coaster. Beautifully made, beautifully detailed. Check out the detail on that. Great logo embossed in there. And nicely stitched all around. I guess that's stitched right through. Beautiful. But wait, there's more. Okay, so now we have this extremely heavy metal base. What is this made of? Okay, so very, very silky feel. Can you see that? Really beautiful. Let's see how this works. So you got your coaster, and you're going to put that on top. It should be ice cold. And then this one has a divot in there, kind of like a punt on a, on a wine bottle. And you set it down like so. Very cool. Much, much bigger than a Glen Cairn. This is for serious whiskey lovers. Can you see the difference in size? Much, 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 much bigger. About double, double the surface area. And about double the liquid volume as well. All right, so one of these I have to go and chill right now. So let me go stick that in the freezer. Love these coasters. And this one we will leave unchilled. All right, now I have to go and wash these. I'll be right back. These are gonna be a little bit tough to wash, actually. Probably best to use a spongy thing. Yeah, these new glasses, they always have a little bit of a film on them. So, so, ooh, that's hot. That should be good. Let's go back. All right, we're back. Let's dry those up. Okay, looks pretty darn nice. 
Les Impitoyables. Les Impitoyables. You can buy it separately, the glasses, or you can buy the set, including the uh, the chilling bases. And pretty smart too, because the, the base is pretty much indestructible. Um, the glass is the thing that probably you'd go through maybe one every couple of years. So let's hope that they keep making these. The smart person might actually buy a few extras of these just in case. And we're going to let that chill for quite a long time. So I'm actually going to just pour these. We'll taste that Nika from the barrel in these two glasses and compare them. Then I'll grab that uh, chilled base after I'm done other reviews so that time has lapsed and it's nice and cold. And then we'll check that out again. All right. So let's pour a little bit of Nika from the barrel. Nice and clean, right? Yep. And these are handmade. So you can see slight imperfections and slight differences from one to the next. And that's part of the beauty of fine glassware and crystal. Okay. Nika from the barrel. Whoa. There goes my Nika. Let's just compare what's happening here with the noses. The Glencairn does a really good job, very approachable compared to, say, a rocks glass. Very, very nice. Let's see how this smells with the, the Ruthless whiskey glass. Similar great nose, a little bit more, I'm getting a little bit more of the malty character coming through here. Beautiful, really, really nice. Works exceptionally well. I like the shape. It's a little bit more funneled, but it does a really nice job of making that a very aromatic whiskey. Hmm. To rate the strength of the nose, I'll give the Glencairn an eight out of 10. And for uh, the Ruthless Whiskey Glass, Les Impitoyables, Let's see. Sheer strength, I'm going to give it one more 9 out of 10. And flavors, scents, 9 out of 10. And over here, I'm going to have to give it 9.5 out of 10. So slightly more fruit coming through. Both very nice. Of course, there's a bit of a cost difference. That is, so on Amazon, you can get the base and the glass for $44.19 in Canadian currency. So $44.19, $35 US versus your standard Glencairn, which is about $10 to $12 in Canada and six to 10 in USA. Of course you get the base. So there's a bit of a added feature. You also get a coaster. So you're getting three things compared to one. So hard to compare the price. Just the glass alone, I think, would probably be more like 20. So um, about double the price in terms of the glass. Of course, the volume is bigger and more detail in some ways. So you take what's outside of the Glencairn, and that's what's inside of this one, right? Anyway, so in a hollow space there. And I think... In terms of being able to hold the glass, you can prevent uh, your whiskey from getting getting warm by holding the base. Whereas with this one, you're going to be holding it up at the top to prevent warming the whiskey. Because if you hold it at the bottom, you'll be warming it with your hands and that'll just ruin the experience of chilling it for the summer. You could also hold it by the punt. A little bit weird looking, right? No, it just doesn't work. There we go. That's the way. All right. So the palette. Hmm. You still get that bit of peppery poof coming out of that Yoichi. That's direct fired. That just makes that even all the more mm, potent, peppery, gunpowdery. And delicious. Let's see how we can taste with the Ruthless Whiskey Glass from Peugeot. 
Les Impitoyables. There we go. I had to practice with listening to the uh, the Google pronunciation. Les Impitoyables. Les Impitoyables. Les Impitoyables. So let's see how this tastes. How does this glass work for actually tasting the whiskey? Hmm. I like the bigger mouth. It seems to come out a little bit more slowly, which seems almost the reverse, but um, it's spread out a little bit more. Hmm. And it seems to cover a little bit more width of your tongue. I have to say, hands down, I prefer the palate from Peugeot. So well done, Peugeot. Peugeot Saveur. You've done an excellent job of making Les Impitoyables, the ruthless whiskey glass, and I'm really loving it. Hmm. The Glencairn delivers a much more peppery sort of, again, that gunpowder note is really, really prevalent here, whereas the ruthless whiskey glass I think because it's spread out on your tongue, that pepperiness is minimized and you're getting a little bit more of the, the sweet vanillas and caramels and a bit more of the fruit as well. So well done. For the palate, I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10. And for the Glen Cairn, I'll give that an 8.5 out of 10. It's a performer for sure. Price-wise, hard to beat it. Nobody could ever duplicate this shape without getting into trouble um, in terms of uh, copyright. That is absolutely a unique shape. I'll bet that Glencairn does have some troubles with copyright infringement and um, have probably been to court more than once, I would guess. And I'll bet you they've won some, and I'll bet you they've lost some too. Uh, Peugeot, however... Uh, they'll never lose a battle over that design. <laughs> Amazing. They have reinvented the wheel. <laughs> I'm back with the frozen base for the Les Impitoyables Peugeot Whiskey Tasting Glass. Ruthless Whiskey Glass. Stays cold for 30 minutes. It'll probably keep it a little bit cold for, let's say, roughly an hour. And as you can see, it's very frozen. So if you can see all of the, the frozen little uh, condensation happening there, let's get that uh, poured and tried out real quick so we don't lose any uh, coldness. Okay, so let's try adding a little bit of this Nika from the barrel again. And I chose this one because... I really like Japanese whiskey when it's cold. Will that sit a minute? I don't see anything happening on the glass just yet, but I would expect that there will be some condensation happening as soon as the whiskey hits uh, a point that's well enough below the temperature of the room, the room temperature. And I can feel the glass is getting cold. I had it in the freezer for just about two hours, maybe a little bit less. In a deep, in your deep freeze, overnight would be ideal. Two hours is not bad. It's cold for sure, but I can already see that uh, there's some condensation there. Oh yeah, that's cold. So let's see what's happened here. You get a little bit more of an astringent nose. A little bit more citrus as well. Oh yeah, I can definitely feel the glass chilling down now. The glass is absolutely cold. It's probably about 10 degrees now. I love everything about the experience that this Peugeot Les Impitoyables glass is giving me. I really love it. The whole glass is cold now. And the nose is tightened up. A little bit of citrus, a little bit of vanilla. Cheers. 
Hmm. It's brought the whiskey down to roughly about 10 degrees, and that makes it very nice for sipping. I'm guessing that probably we can maybe get to about 7 or 8 degrees, and that'll be about it for, uh, for this. It's still very icy cold, though. Very cold. Give it another minute. It's just so heavy. Easily a pound. Okay, let's try that again. Hmm. One thing you may like, you get more pepper now, and you also get a little bit more syrupy mouthfeel, which I think a lot of people like. And it seems to hang on your palate a little bit longer and the finish seems to last a bit longer as well mm hmm big big citrus well it works very well and I quite like that and I can even see that the whiskey has slowed down and that's great that is the Peugeot Les Impitoyables whiskey glass, the ruthless whiskey glass. Beautiful glasses, very well made, excellent for smelling, excellent for tasting, especially for tasting. And you get the added feature of being able to chill down your whiskey a little bit in the summer months. Beautiful glasses, definite talking pieces. These would make a great gift. For yourself <laughs> or for uh, your whiskey buddy for his birthday click the link over here to subscribe to whiskey whistle right here that emblem if you're in winnipeg join the winnipeg whiskey club or email me mark at winnipegwhiskeyclub.com come with me to the scottish highlands in november november 10th to 18th an itinerary in the link below last but not least if you are enjoying this video I sure hope you'd be interested in becoming a patron of the channel through Patreon. That's a crowd sharing site, patreon.com backslash whiskey whistle. And uh, don't forget to tell me your thoughts on this glass or on that whiskey, etc. Take care, everybody. See you for the next one. Goodbye now. Thank you.